y'all. This is John and Kat with the Gun Discovery Channel. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, so you're probably wondering, where have you guys been? Or maybe you're not wondering that at all. And <laughs> I'm just talking out my ass. Uh, uh, so, you know, we had actually wanted to do this a long time ago, a couple weeks ago, probably. Several weeks back. Yeah, and uh, we figured now is the time. Um, this is our uh, 100 plus subs contest. And before we get into that, we just want to cover a couple of things. And we have our trusty talking points here. So first, by way of a channel update, yeah. <clears throat> um, the other thing we wanted to mention is the reason why our videos are slowing down a little bit. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I've been in school. I started back to school after the holidays uh, before John did. So I have been, and I go to school full time. So um, I've been busy with school and tons and tons of homework. Yeah. And uh, and I can attest to that, guys. <laughs> I mean, I come home from work, you know, at night, and I'm like, hey, you, you want to make a video, cat? And she's like, um, no, I have to, I actually have an exam tomorrow. I have to study for that. So that's way more important than YouTube. And you know what the truth is? That's true. And what's good for her is good for me because two weeks ago I started school again too. And uh, and he's working full time and going to school. Yeah, you guys want to check this out. <laughs> this book is about seven to eight pounds. Okay, I'm going to give a tactical review on it. Don't know if you can see the cover there, but this is the Norton Shakespeare based on the Oxford edition, second edition. Yeah, I'm an English major. <laughs> That's probably three and a half inches right there. Uh, this is good if you need to uh, assail somebody in the middle of the night. You need to <laughs> throw it at them, okay? Hit them in the head. Uh, this also serves as a handy doorstop. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, this is what's keeping me occupied as well. And one other reason why our videos are slowing down. So, we're both back in school. I work... Um, and it's just getting really hard. But that doesn't mean that we're not watching your videos. And I try to comment. Kat tries to comment whenever she can. Um, so forgive us. Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> By the way, how do you like the guns? Huh? This have actually nothing to do with our video tonight. We just thought we'd put it out there so you guys could drool a little bit. We know how you guys <laughs> like it. And they've all been, what? Safety checked. Safety checked. <laughs> All right, move us down. Next talking point. Uh, next talking point. Um, I think we're wanting to give a shout out to uh, Yoko Weenus. That's right. Yoko Weenus, a great channel. <laughs> and we love to say the name. Yeah, it's just fun. <laughs> it sounds a little dirty. Yoko, Yoko Weenus. <laughs> uh, he, uh, he did something uh, that kind of helped, uh, helped me out with my shooting mm -hmm. techniques and stuff like that. And uh, I thought that was really awesome, so... I know a lot of you guys already are subscribed to his channel, but if you haven't yet seen uh, seen his work, highly recommend you go check him out because I I don't think you'll be disappointed. He's got a lot of shooting, uh, a lot of good fundamentals too on his channel. All right, All right. so we wanted to do a contest uh, because that seems to be the thing to do on YouTube. Uh, uh, we just wanted to um, put a shout out and let everybody know that we appreciate all the subs. Um, we really wanted to do this um, right away when we hit 100, but like we said, um, we've just been really busy. We just haven't been able to fit it into our schedule. So um, now we are, and I think we're at 131, and we just want to thank all of you out there. Um, it means a lot to us. Definitely does. So our way of giving back to the tactical gun community on YouTube is to run this contest. And um, we wanted to kind of, uh, <clears throat> we sort of wanted a theme for the contest, and we were thinking about one of the elements of our channel that, you know, mm -hmm. is uh, not maybe totally unique, but a little bit different, different. Mm -hmm. uh, is the fact that we're, you know, a male and a female together. And a lot of times in the gun community, uh, it seems like it's dominated mm -hmm. by men. Um, so I think our idea, you know, in talking about it, you know, we've had some, well, actually I shouldn't say we, Kat has had some particularly instances, issues, yeah. yeah, issues, I guess. Um, when, just, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Were you going to say when I go looking for things or? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Cause I don't want anything that's, you know, I'm a girl. I don't want anything that's camouflaged. I don't want, uh, black all the time or, so it's really hard to go out there and find things or to have it, um, cater directly to females or be female friendly. Yeah. Um, so I think this is what we're basing this on just because we're different and, and, and um, you know, being a couple and, um, so anyways, sorry. <laughs> no, that's good. So, um, all right, here's what we want you guys to do. We want a creative, um, video response that, um, talks about ways that you think the gun community could be more inviting to women. That is, how do we, how do we get women to participate more in this, uh, shooting sports that we like so much? Um, you know, it could be anything. Or, mm -hmm. you know, actually, y you could even make a video if you wanted to and said, you know what, I think we should just leave it how it is. That's kind of uh, been working for us. And uh, Yeah, any, any opinion is welcome. Yeah. We're very open to any opinion, and and humor is always welcome as well. We're looking at you, nuts or fancy. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, so, you know, a creative video response. Um, you know, come up with some ideas. I mean, whether it's, you know, pink accessories or... Uh, Ladies' night at the at the gun range um, would be fabulous. Um, some other things we had in mind was uh, women uh, shoot for free on, on different days or discounts. Um, yeah. Anything to um, any ideas that you have that can bring you know more women or bring more interest for women into the shooting community. Yeah, exactly. I think would be anything. Just use your imagination. <laughs> Yeah, and so be creative with it. And so that's kind of um, that's kind of what we were going for in the contest. Uh, and then we also want you to um, give a shout out to a channel that you think has some really great content and might be going sort of under the radar. That is, uh, you know, it's not showing up on the tactical forum or, uh, you know, doesn't have a lot of subscriptions, but you think is worthy of, of getting some more traffic. Um, you know, why don't you go ahead and throw a shout out in that video as well. So okay. <clears throat> that leaves us with rules. rules. Yeah. Um, we want you to make sure that you are 18 years of age and over and that you do reside in the United States. Yeah. That's the first rule. Mm -hmm. Sorry for our um, international subscribers. It's just uh, really expensive to, you know, ship out to you guys. And we actually enjoy a lot of your uh, interaction on the channel and everything like that. And maybe in the future we'll open it up to uh, international. But for now, unfortunately, we got to leave it at uh, U.S. residency only. Yeah. Uh, so we said before, it's got to be a video response. Mm -hmm. um, but we will, uh, because we recognize that not everybody has a video camera or the time because maybe you're a student and you work or whatever, uh, you can go ahead and leave a comment answering the same fundamental question uh, underneath this video. Um, but here's the thing. With a video response, that gets you 10 entries. With a comment response, I'll give you one entry Yeah. into the contest. Um, the contest will run until midnight, February 28th. Okay, so that's not, <clears throat> that's not you know, on February 28th it ends. It it actually goes through the 28th, mm -hmm. and so it cuts off, I guess 11.59 would be the more accurate way of saying it, on February 28th. So when it rolls over to March 1st at midnight, the contest is over. It's over. Uh, and then, uh, okay, so the last part of it is uh, we're doing this kind of like, you know, other contests where instead of having a first, second, and third place prize, we're just going to have prize packs, Okay. And uh, first place winner, the first person drawn, gets to choose from what's there. The second place gets to choose from what's left. And the third place just gets the sloppy uh, leftovers. <laughs> okay. But we so, do have great prizes for all. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and sort of resituate the uh, table here and uh, bring out the prize packs. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back, you all. Kat here. Um, I have you the prize packages that we're going to display for you and let you in on what you can win. Also, the first prize is going to get a mystery box along with the prize uh, A, B, or C that they pick. Yeah, that was kind of a uh, where that's an ode to uh, firearms rescue right there. <laughs> the mystery box. So uh, yeah, with be looking for some uh, some interesting uh, things inside of that. So for A, we have for you. The Gerber Fast Draw Knife. And this is, uh, oh, I don't know if you can see the box. If 
you're zooming in on it. I'll go ahead and open it up for you. This is a really cool knife. It's um, black. It's got um, kind of like a little rough edges. Are you zooming in, John? Yeah. Okay. It's got a little safety lock right here. And it's got the, um, what's this called? The thumb grip? Thumb studs. Thumb studs um, to, for easy opening access. On the back is the um, pocket clip. clip. Um, so that you can stow that right in your pocket. Yeah, and all of these are brand new, by the way. We're just yes. uh, opening them out of the box for demonstration o o uh, only. purposes only. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how this is how this works. I'm going to go ahead and push this button up. It's in the red to open it, and um, it's a little bit big for my hands, but I'm going to do my best. And it's got this thumb stud. Oh, I think I did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> right on, baby. <laughs> opening it up. Uh, it's got the Gerber logo right there, and you got the serrated edges which is really, really cool. It's a beautiful knife. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you option B, which is another great knife that we found. And this is the Paraframe, the Gerber Paraframe knife. Paraframe 1. I'm sorry, Paraframe 1. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry to be uh, overly technical, but uh, you know a lot of guys out there are just like totally into knives and they would probably comment and say, oh, no, that's a Paraframe 1, dude. So. <laughs> okay, and this is really cool. <clears throat> we thought this was a really cool knife and a lot of fun. Um, it's just cool looking. It's got this really neat gray color to it. Yeah, I like the skeletonized uh, frame yeah. on that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It has the the pocket clip in the back as well. Really nice and handy. Now this has no lock on it. Um, the It does have the thumb stud right here for easy opening. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to open it. And I'm not real good at opening these knives, but I'm doing my best. I think I did okay. Yeah, you did awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got the Gerber logo right there. I just like this one a lot. I just like the looks of it. I think it's really cool. Yeah, it's really sexy. I mean, you yeah. know, if you just like need a back Slick. a backup knife or a backup to your backup to your backup knife, <laughs> uh, you know, that's a that's a nice option because it's really lightweight. Yep. And this one is real easy to close as well. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this center piece on the in, in the middle oh, to the side. The liner lock. The liner lock, and then just close it like that. And option C is fun. It's, um, we've got a, the Humvee LED keychain tool combo where you've got this really cool silver light. And then you've got this cool, um, tool kit. It has, um, an ultra bright LED light. It hey baby, a, hold, hold that up towards oh, me a little bit. That's cool. I was trying to read all the stuff it has on it. Yeah. Um, the keychain tool has a flat precision and Phillips screwdriver on it. It's got an ultra bright LED light. Um, it has a can opener, which is always convenient there for you guys, and a knife. And then the LED light, which I think is really cool. It's super bright, nine bulb LED. It's a, it has an on off push button. And it's a uh, gnarled barrel for extra grip. And then also, um, John and I use a, use these a lot when we go shooting to the shooting range, and we absolutely love these targets. So the first one I'm going to show you is the Shoot and See Reactive Target. This is the the um, uh, the eight inch. The other one is um, these are three adhesive targets, and it's the twelve inch. Oh, okay. So, so they're just a little bit bigger, and actually we use this size a lot. <laughs> um, on our targets. Yeah, if we're shooting for long distance, it's a little easier to see. Yeah. You know, yeah. for the close up, um, close up targets, you know, maybe 25 yards and less or whatever, maybe use the smaller ones, but. Yeah, and we really like these a lot. Okay, so there you guys have it. Those are three uh, prize packs. Um, the Gerber Paraframe 1, the Gerber Fast Draw, and then the uh, Reactive Targets with the um, little Humvee uh, multi-tool and, and flashlight. All right, give him the knuckle bump, cat, and let's call this one done. Knuckle bump. <laughs> <laughs>